everyone. Today on Ask Kelly, we're going to be talking about food groups because I realized this holiday that a lot of people don't know what foods fall into what groups. And if you're trying to be healthy and eat clean, it's really important to understand to ensure that you get a balanced diet. So we're going to start with carbs because carbs have been given this terrible name for way too long, quite unnecessarily actually, I believe. And the most important thing to understand about carbs is that not all carbs are the same. So the first one is your processed carbs, like your cereals, your breads, the things that man actually makes. Then you've got your grain carbs, which are things like oats, quinoa, bulgur wheat, rice, wild rice, basmati rice, all different types of rices do actually exist. You've got your fruits, your vegetables, and then what I call as their own separate group is your junk or your treat foods, which we all like now and again, but are obviously man-made and really, really sweet and uh, lots of sugar added to them. So obviously if we go back to the philosophy of does it grow in the earth, it's really important to know that obviously chocolates don't and neither does special canned bread. So those are classified as processed and then the grains, the fruits and the vegetables are classified as whole or clean carbs. Just so you know, the four or the five vegetables that are classified as carbohydrates, because most other vegetables are in your free food section, which we'll talk about just now, are your butternut, sweet potato, normal potato, beetroot, and mealies. Then let's talk about proteins. Now, proteins have been given a great name. Everybody thinks proteins are super good for you, all proteins are necessary, and that they often people think they don't even have any calories in them, which is not true. But there's a big difference within the protein group as well. So your protein foods are normally your meat, chicken and fish. I've got one of my fish fillets out of the freezer for you to, to show you. Uh, cheeses, legumes. Then you also have your processed protein group, which is your Viennas, chicken nuggets, burger patties, sausages. And yet they all fall under the umbrella of protein. So it's important to understand that there's a huge difference between a fillet of hake or a tin of tuna and a Vienna, yet they're both protein. So again, with the carbs I said, do they grow in the earth? Here the question is, does it walk in the fields or swim in the sea? So sausages don't walk in fields, neither do chicken nuggets, neither do Viennas. So that's a good way of asking yourself, is this protein source healthy? or very nutritious for me, or is it really just filling the gap? Okay, on to the fats. Fats have been given a great name. Everybody thinks fat's really good for you now, but there's still very much a difference between good and bad fats. So when we're looking at the fat group, I've kind of put them in two different sections here. Clean fats, your nuts, your seeds, your olives, olive oil, organic nut butters, avos, are all examples of clean fats or fats that actually exist. Now, why is yum yum peanut butter not clean? Because if you look on the ingredients label here, you'll see that it just says peanuts on this packaging. Whereas this one says peanut sugar, peanut nibs, palm oil, hydrogenated vegetable fats, and that's probably why it tastes so good compared to this one. But if we're looking at nutrition, this is much more nutritious than this. Spray and cook or your spray oils are also not just oil in a spray can. So we're going to talk about food labels in the next video, but it's just important for you to have a glance. If you're trying to eat clean, look at a food label. If there's one ingredient on it, like on the oats box, it just says oats, then it's clean. If there's lots more, probably not a clean option. Okay, just to finish off, there's three sort of lurker groups when we talk about food groups. The one is fruits. People don't really know where fruit fits, so we've explained that fruits and carbohydrates. The other one is dairy, and dairy is a protein food normally. Milk and yogurt normally go in here as well, but sometimes we talk about them on their own in their own group. And then there's what we call free foods, or all of your vegetables that don't necessarily count as carbs, but are obviously really important as part of a balanced diet. So. That's your free group and it's basically all the stuff that grows in the earth that doesn't really have any calories, but it's got heaps and heaps of nutrition. So a little rule of thumb that I use with my clients is try and have two to three colors at each of your main meals during the day. So two to three colors at um, lunch and two to three colors at dinner on your plate to make sure that you're getting enough vitamins and minerals. And then very often you won't need to be taking a vitamin supplement because you're getting it from your food, which is ultimately the way that we should be living.